All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's uh, Sam Lepore here with the Sam Lepore Group at Keller Williams. Um, back again with uh, helping our local small businesses. Um, so each each day, uh, every other day, possibly, I, I go around and I'm interviewing uh, small businesses to see how I can help uh, promote their name and get them out, uh, get them help them during this pandemic that's going on. Today we actually have a nonprofit. And I know a lot of you have already heard of them, and it's the uh, Morristown Theater Company. So uh, today we have uh, Mr. Mark Morgan. He is the producing artistic director with uh, the Morristown Theater Company. So he's going to talk a little bit about what they're doing now. Um, and obviously they're, uh, they're virtual now as well. And Mark will talk about some of the shows that might have been canceled, but they're still doing some online, um, some Zoom um, rehearsals and things like that. I know, I know Morris, Mark, I know Morristown Theater Company is very near and dear to uh, a lot of people's hearts here in this town. I have some friends that um, perform with you guys as, uh, as well. So tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing now and um, you wanna talk about another venture that you, uh, you took on as well. Well, first of all, thank you so much, Sam, for uh, hosting these uh, webisodes. Uh, it's a wonderful thing on your part to promote the small businesses in town. So I uh, just want to say thank you for that. Uh, yes, the Morristown Theater Company is closed like everyone else for in-person uh, rehearsals and classes. Uh, we unfortunately had two productions uh, in various stages of readiness. We had one show about a week away from opening night uh, back at the end of March, uh, that was uh, a production of High School Musical that was at Our Lady of Good Counsel School. We run the drama club there for them for the past 17 years, and we were ready to move into tech week uh, when all this craziness hit. Um, so we are still rehearsing with them virtually. Uh, I have a line reading uh, with the leads on Thurs uh, Thursday this week. Uh, we had a dance rehearsal online yesterday. Uh, we'll be doing a music rehearsal, I think, uh, Wednesday with them. So we're trying to keep them engaged and interested. Of course, they're disappointed. And now with the announcement that schools are, are closed, we're not sure what that means, whether we'll be able to stage it at the school or whether we have to find another location. But we still want to perform that show in some way. Uh, we were also not as far along with the production of Moana Jr., uh, which um, would have been a Morristown premiere. Um, that show was scheduled just for la uh, two weekends ago, end of April. Uh, so they're not as far along. Uh, we would still need another good month uh, when things settle down to get that production ready for an audience. Um, so that's part of what we're doing, just uh, Zoom. Oh my gosh, the number of Zoom uh, meetings we have. Uh, those, those productions, Mark, aren't, there's no date as of yet, right, for those productions? Right? No, so we can't here. set anything yet, uh, as unsettled as everything is, even when things open up. Uh, you know, how ready will people be to come sit in a theater? Or will we have guidelines how many people are allowed in a space? Uh, so we're waiting to hear things like that before we can commit to dates and locations. Um, yeah, it's just, just like the rest of the world. We're uh, waiting for instructions. Gotcha. Okay. And you wanted to talk about this, uh, was it Give Back Tuesday? Uh, that's uh, Giving Tuesday. Uh, before I touch on that, if you don't mind, let me uh, just also mention we are still doing online classes. So uh, we do have acting classes that I do Thursday afternoons and Saturday mornings. We have dance classes uh, today and tomorrow uh, and Saturday. We have music classes on Wednesday. We've even added a, a, one of our teachers, her brother's a professional Shakespearean actor and he's home shut down for the, because of the COVID-19. Well, he's doing a couple Shakespeare classes for us and he's a professional puppeteer as well. Uh, so he's doing a puppet class there on Fridays starting at three o'clock. So uh, all that's on our website at morristowntheatercompany.org. You can register online, you'll get a Zoom meeting ID and uh, to break up your monotony, if the kids are bored at home, uh, your grandkids, uh, you want to find something fun for them to do, I promise uh, the hour will fly by and they'll be like, oh my gosh, it's over already. They, my kids are having so much fun. So that, that's one of the other two things we are still doing, but otherwise we are closed. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, tomorrow, whether, uh, I'm not sure how many people know about this, uh, it's called Giving Tuesday Now. Uh, for the last few years, back or in November, when we have, uh, 
Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and uh, Cyber Monday, they added a Giving Tuesday, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving for the last few years. And it's to help nonprofits and uh, shine a spotlight on nonprofits. Well, that's what is happening tomorrow uh, on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, it's another Giving Tuesday. I'm not sure who came up with the idea, but uh, it's great. Uh, we have launched uh, new videos. We've been doing uh, 15 to 20 second TikTok videos with our kids that are on our website. Uh, my wife and I and my mother-in-law who founded the theater company, I think we did a minute long video, uh, more historical, but talking about what we do. And then we just debuted yesterday, uh, I think about a 90 second video just with all of our kids and from rehearsals and the kids talking about how important MTC has been to their lives and improving their self-confidence and uh, some of these kids are moving on to college now and just so thankful for what MTC has provided them over the years. So you can uh, visit moresoundtheatercompany.org. Uh, it's hashtag MTC Cares. That's the name of our uh, new scholarship fund. Uh, we have a separate website for that, mtccares.org. Uh, but a lot of cool videos, uh, a lot of great kids that you'll recognize if you're here in Morristown and uh, kids who go through our public schools, kids from other towns. Uh, just a, a wonderful way to promote MTC and we're hoping people will watch them and hopefully contribute something. Yeah, that's, that's good, Mark. Um, I, I quite honestly, I didn't know myself uh, that you guys do all this other stuff, dance and, uh, and all these things for these kids. Um, I thought it was more just strictly um, theater, uh, completely theater. Um, so it's good to uh, hear that. And uh, Hopefully we can get more people involved because I know my daughter's involved in uh, tiny tutus here in town and um, she loves all these zoom classes. They're they're They are, they're fun and keeps them, you know, while they're hunkered down here at home. Um, it's still, it, it's fun for them and it's something for them to do too. So that's cool that you're doing all that. Yeah. And uh, we have a, a group of regular kids who've been doing shows with us for years uh, doing these classes, but we'd love to expand that and introduce new kids. Like I said, uh, in my acting classes, we will, uh, I'll attach this uh, link for a script. And this Thursday, we're doing uh, act two of The Wizard of Oz at, uh, at three o'clock and four to uh, six o'clock, we're doing Beauty and the Beast, the, the main, the full version of that. So uh, every kid who registers will get the link to the script, we'll assign parts, we'll read the parts, we'll talk about how the, uh, especially Beauty and the Beast with various accents, uh, how to play the roles and we obviously can't sing or dance, but we're, we're reading through the scripts and the kids are getting to play parts they've never had the chance to play yet. Uh, they're hoping in the future. We've done Newsies, we've done uh, West Side Story already, uh, and we'll eventually start repeating some of them. But for kids who've never done anything and wanna try it, uh, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, it, it, sound, it really does sound like it. So I hope we can shed some light uh, to the town and, uh, and to more of, uh, about the Morristown Theater Company. I really appreciate you coming on. Um, and let's hope that this all opens up pretty soon and you guys can start scheduling those shows. Well, we, uh, if I, one last thing, if I may. Uh, we certainly do still hope that our, our bread and butter is our whole summer program. Between uh, 4th of July and the end of August, we normally do uh, six summer camp sessions plus an all ages main stage show. And this year we were planning to add a show for uh, 17 to 29 year olds. Uh, a lot of our college kids are back and they're like, hey, we can't do summer camp. And we don't maybe want to do the main stage show with the little kids. We want to do something with our own. So we were going to be doing seven different shows between 4th of July and August uh, 24th. Uh, we still hope to do all those. I uh, know parents have, are up in the air and wondering, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with my kid? all summer uh that's why we've had such a great summer stage program for uh, the past 14 years so we're as of now we're assuming that's still on and you can register for that but obviously higher powers to be that be will tell us uh if we're able to do those summer camps and main stage shows yeah let's keep positive and hope for that that would be awesome um when does it typically start right after school i know you said the shows are in july but i'm, I'm assuming you start before that right Yes, uh, we would. Uh, the first show would be uh, if, if parents are familiar with the books, uh, the Magic Treehouse stories. Uh, there's like 50 of them, wonderful uh, stories uh, about a brother and sister, Jack and Annie, who traveled to different time periods, and they've put four of them to music, uh, and we've done three of them already. So this year we were going to be opening summer camp with uh, uh, the Magic Treehouse dinosaurs before dark. So especially for boys who uh, love dinosaurs, but maybe aren't thinking they want to be in a musical, this might be the perfect way to try it. 
Uh, after that, that, and that's for six to 12 year olds, that starts uh, like the 18th of June. Uh, and a week, a couple days later, we'd start a teen summer camp session. We were doing Legally Blonde Junior just for teenagers. Uh, so uh, all that's on the website at morestowntheatercompany.org. Uh, we've been doing summer camp for 14 years now. And uh, oh, and we're debuting an East Coast premiere of a, a musical called The Big One O about a boy having his 10th birthday. And the author from New York is coming down to see it. Uh, it just was nominated for Off-Broadway Awards uh, this past season. Uh, we saw it in New York. It's a fabulous show, and we're the first ones in the area, hopefully getting to do it, uh, assuming things happen. That's incredible. You guys got a lot going on over there. That is an amazing. Nice work. We, we average 15 shows a year. Uh, obviously, this year may not equal that, but uh, you figure 17 years, we've done 173 productions and the first couple of years we were doing only one or two or three so uh, we've had as many as 18 in a year uh, we've had uh, over 800 performances of those 173 shows and have had almost 8,000 actors on our stage in that time so pretty big and your wife's involved with uh, with it as well right well we co-founded it together uh, Carol Ann Murray is my wife and uh, I can't imagine anyone better to uh, partner with on this uh, it's basically become our life's work she's the managing director uh, she hand oversees all the music she's a wonderful vocalist she does private voice lessons uh, uh, she's go is going nuts with those right now uh, a ton of those uh, but she oversees our costumes our uh, props uh, all our fundraising uh, she and I both have uh, fundraising uh, jobs in our background prior to founding MTC so uh, yeah she uh, I can't, can't imagine doing it without her. Uh, yeah, that's that's awesome, Mark. That's good to hear. And um, anything else you would like to share before we go? Uh, just that uh, theater is something anyone can do at any age. We've had someone as old as 84 tap dancing and Mary Poppins on stage with us a couple summers ago in our main stage show. We normally start at six. We want kids being able to read, but some of our dance classes, we've been having five-year-olds. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you've never done it before. We have rookies every year, kids, adults. We've had parents uh, jump into shows because their kids beg them. Or uh, We actually have a rule for our big summer show every year. If the children are preteens, six to 12 year olds want to be on stage, they must have an adult relative on stage with them. And funny, that's how we got Rick Williams from Channel 6. Uh, he's on our board. He's done probably 20 shows with us over the years. His son, Nick, was six years old and wanted to be in the uh, King and I back in 2000. And, seven I believe or 2008 and I said to his parents well one of you has to be on stage and Nick's mom said oh, talk to Mr. TV he'll handle that and we've since gotten mom on stage too but Nick's now a senior in high school about to graduate and wow. since then, when he was six years old he's done easily 30 shows with us uh, Rick has done probably 20 and even mom Jocelyn's probably done half a dozen to 10 shows with us so it, it's truly a family but, opportunity and uh, something we love being a part of here in Morristown is letting families have fun performing theater together. Yeah, that's awesome. Incredible. Well, thanks again, Mark. I really appreciate you doing this and uh, I wish you you guys the best there. Uh, looks like you got a lot going on. So hopefully this uh, this virus settles down and we can get, get going. Well, thank you very much for uh, having me on today, Sam. You got it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Yeah.